Welcome back to the RV Rundown. I'm your host, Barry, and this is the segment where we take a quick look at some of the hottest floor plans on the market today. I'm standing inside a 2021 Avalanche 378BH. This is a family style bunkhouse camper and it is built with big families in mind. And we're gonna check out the one main namesake first, the BH portion of it, the bunkhouse. Let's head on back to the back here where we have one slide in this room that really opens it up and gives us a lot of floor space. In that slide, we have a tri-fold sofa. So this is gonna pull out and create a full bed. We have a bunk hiding up above it that drops down. It has a 300 pound weight capacity. And all of this is directly across from what would be our storage and entertainment. So if we wanted to set up another TV back here, we could in this space. There's drawers and storage all around it and even more bunks up and around that as well. In total, we could easily sleep six people back here. And to top that off, we've got our own bathroom for the crew that's hiding back here. It's a half bath with an exterior exit door. The half bath features some storage as well in the form of cabinetry and a medicine cabinet. Pushing out of this big bunk room and back into the main room, we have a kind of combined living, eating, and cooking space. So it's tight because of that bunkhouse being so big in the back and having that extra half bath, but this is functional, it works. By deleting the dinette that we would standardly see here and giving us this big couch, it gives us room for the family to watch TV. And remember, there was also entertainment across from the couch in the bunk room, so everybody can be doing something here. Also worth mentioning is this is a trifold sofa, so it's gonna pull out and become yet another bed if that is necessary. At the end, we have a recliner, and this little TV tray that we see here simply pulls out and stores away if we don't want it in place. The kitchen is no slouch. We have solid surface countertops, loads of space and storage, residential refrigerator. We even have a pantry in here and then also we have this cool little hutch slash appliance space so we can have a spot for our coffee maker or our toaster, things of that nature, or have a place that is already out with plugs. It's just kind of set up for that. Now the island itself, we have a dual basin stainless steel sink and that's covered up again by those solid surface uh, covers there, just extending that counter space. Loads and loads of storage as you see, places for trash cans, places for pots, pans, other things of that nature. Now, the entertainment center that's in here is pretty cool too. We have a big flat screen TV, again, more storage up above it. We have a big Jensen head unit that's tied into the speaker system. It is Bluetooth capable. And down below, we have an electric fireplace. That electric fireplace is definitely gonna help offset some of the LP cost in the colder month. Even another cool thing that's in here is it's got a ceiling fan. That's a super residential thing. We love seeing those in the fifth wheels with the high ceilings. It definitely helps circulate some air in those nice summer days. So let's pop on up across from our entrance in the main hallway where we find our primary control panel for this unit. Right below it you see that we have our AC control as well as heat. And then another thing that we've got going on here is an entrance to our bathroom, our primary bathroom, which is a pass-through. And that pass-through bathroom is going to feature this huge shower enclosure that's all fiberglass, one piece surround with a skylight up above. They've given us a little seat to sit on and a wand for the shower head. And there's no shortage of storage in the bathroom in the form of cabinetry all around the sink there. The main master bedroom features a king bed. The king bed has a padded headboard behind it. It's got some nice little reading lights up top. The lights in here are on a dimmer so they can be brought down. They've given us storage up under there as well in this strut assisted bed lift. At the foot of the bed, we have a chest of drawers as well as a spot where we can hook up a TV so that we can have entertainment in the master bedroom up here. The closet 
nice and deep has a hanging rack as well as a shelf up top and on this far side of the closet I'll open this up for you we see that we have a spot to hook up a washer and a dryer now that's not the end of the story here we have a little bit more to look at let's pop outside and take a look at the exterior kitchen because it's pretty cool too Here outside the 378BH, we see that we have two big electric awnings. They roll out at the touch of a button and they're lit by LED strips. At the very back of the unit, we have our outside entertainment and kitchen area. What's cool about this is that Avalanche has already provided us with a flat screen TV out here. So immediately coming out on a camping trip and having that ready to go, is gonna be an awesome thing. You just drag your chairs around, watch a movie outside at night. There's a sink in here as well for washing up, rinsing things off. And we have this hot point electric refrigerator too for keeping beverages and other things cool outside that you want quick access to. They've given us a Jensen head unit that ties into the speakers, a little bit of storage. And then down below, we have a hookup for our LP. That means that we could run a small stove, a like a, you know, one of those Coleman grills, things of that nature out here. So cooking is gonna be a breeze too. Guys, I hope you really enjoyed this quick tour of the 378BH. See it for yourself in person at Southern RV or on our website, southernrvnet.com. And until next time, happy camping.